Howdy gamers, it is a good day to continue through the Shadow Touched Lands. Uh, we, we've kind of gone back into completionist mode, kind of hunting through all the various nukes and crannies. For interesting stuff to do, this area I could not even enter at the time because I didn't have a moon lantern. I do now, and that's probably going to be the first thing on the docket for the day. Also, interestingly, we can go... I think it's either... Where is it? Where's the gosh dang entrance? I think it's actually right here is the path to go to some mountain pass. Some mountain pass. I'm also kind of interested in checking that out. And also making our way southward is got to be our very first goal because you might recall what happened last time. I Can't slow down. did the bravest thing I've ever done and I ran away. I thought that I could successfully evade and run away, but frankly, Shadow Heart just doesn't quite run fast enough. Doesn't quite run fast enough. And it was these Shadow Curse Needle Blight turkeys that chased me down. Because I went to open this and I was like, I know if I open this, something bad will happen. I know if I open it, something. I know, I know, I know for a fact. And then I walked right in there and got ambushed by these turkeys. And now we have the turkeys down here. So it's a good day to finally eliminate these little level three guys. Do nicely. There we go. nicely. Are they all gone? I wonder if this is worth the cost. All right, well, time to do some cantrips. Do not react. Okay, that was, that, was that was comically easy, all right, fine, totally. Doctor, doctor uh, the doctor says, I love Divinity, but Baldur's Gate 3 is peak for this publisher. Yeah, yeah, I mean, this is, this is, this is truly one of the greatest games I've ever seen. Shadow Curse finds, show me what you got. Burr. All right. Sorry, everyone. Sorry. Sorry. Don't don't worry, everyone. Sorry, everyone. Sorry, you're doing fine. Sorry, everyone. You're doing fine. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Sorry, everyone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everyone. It's fine. It's totally okay, everyone. Uh, let's see here. This is one four damage per turn. Oh, that's why everyone's getting a little bit a little blushy. This was it, really? This is more Gale feeds. This goes to Astarion. All that, huh? Hmm. Dude, that? can I just say this theme? This theme of like a a some sort of like encroaching pestilence get going like growing in an area like the nothing from the never ending story, the dark water from Pirates of the Dark Water, <laughs> Pirates of Dark Water. Excuse me. Um, what are some more things that are like this? I mean, frankly, just the vibe of the Upside Down and Stranger Things. Shadow, Touch Land. Like, anything that has that that encroaching stuff. Oh, it's so good. And also, if any of you have not seen Pirates of Dark Water, it's really good. It was the original. I can't believe they never finished it. It was the original. Dark World Metroid Prime Echoes. I don't even know what that means. Holy Water, Radiant Damage. Really? Wow. Be careful bumping anything liquid at your local church. All right. Baryons is the idea of an entire environment that is parasite in and of itself has always fascinated me. Yeah. All right. Looks like we've mostly checked all this out. I don't know. Is there anything over here? Uh, any anything anything at all I mean opening up the map yeah no I think I think we found it all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go back to the light game how's the barricade coming along uh, it ain't pretty 
but it can take a beating. It'll need to. All right. So we're gonna go this way. We're gonna re-enter in here. Dude, Iliosterka says, hey, Sean, hope you're having a good day. It's pretty good. It's pretty good, if I'm being honest. I gotta say, I'm really happy with having drank tea. I'm really happy with tea eating, man. Oh. Hey, uh, ah. Saga Light Source. Um, I have not had any soda or beer in like... The three and a half, four weeks? Let me tell you, do you realize how easy it is? If it's like 9.30, we're gonna go to bed in a few, you know, an hour and a half or something, and just be like, yeah, I'll have a beer, watch the TV, man, be pretty good. I'm having some tea instead. And I mean, it's impressive. I mean, it's, it, it, you know, it's, it's maybe actually kind of, kind of like a basic move to do. But my God, it feels nice. You know what? I don't need a Starion. I can lockpick this. No problem. This. I don't need him. I don't need this. I don't need a Starion. I'm I'm good enough. I am good enough. I am Kenuff. Yes! Yes! Yeah! I punch up now instead of punching like this, because just once I clocked my cat right as she was running by. So we celebrate upward only. Yeah. Critical success. Critically don't need that guy. Penumbral armor. will obscure the wearer gains plus three bonus to stealth checks. That might actually be good for Astarion. Let's go ahead and take a peek. Astarion, yo, 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 yo. You have in plus one bonus to stealth checks. Advantage on constitution saving throws. And this is while obscured gives plus one bonus to stealth checks. This is, so when obscured bonus stealth checks, this is just get plus one to stealth checks. And I think I'm not good enough to be precise about this. Oh my God. Oh my God, that is so brutal. And add to wears. Uh, what happens if I wear both of these ranks, huh? I can't believe this game does this stuff. Because, like, I originally played games like this. Games like uh, Lands of Lore, where old dungeon crawlers, buds, all that good stuff, where, like, okay, I, 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 I need to back up. You need to let me speak. In the history of games, if you look just in the last 10 years of games, they tend to be very tight in their mechanical design. If you look at something like Slay the Spire, this is a game in which you play cards, get potions, get relics. That's it. Those are all, like all things that occur in the game are wrapped up into that. Oh, it's a random encounter. It might affect a card in your deck, give you a potion, give you a relic like that's about it it's all very very narrow mechanically even something like uh arpgs hey here's all the various stats and equipment that you can wear and things that you can swap around in order to be stronger and better and so on um but like back back in the elden days like in the 90s for instance there was some of the stuff that was very systemy and very tight all the mechanics were very clearly represented on the items themselves, and it was about exploring the depth of those things. But there were lots of, like, lateral thinking type puzzles that lived in those mechanics. As an example, if... Uh, I still remember in Lands of Lore, which had a UI kind of something a little bit like this for equipping your characters, various armor and weapons and so on, there was a location that where there was a crack in a wall and what you were supposed to do was equip a certain kind of hammer and then use the attack button with the hammer facing the wall and it would break through the wall. And that is the only place in the entire game where you ever did that. 
That's what I mean by lateral thinking. You were supposed to go, hey, that looks like a crack and I should be able to knock that down. Let me try to use the mechanics that are here to figure out a way to knock that down. And so, hi. Yeah, hell yeah, Desper. Um, my cats love the car wash. Yeah, it's a happy girl. Um, and so, like, the old games, like the Ultima games, I mean, I know Ultima 7 is normally the famous one, but I'm talking about, like, Ultima, Ultima 3 and stuff. These games had very soft mechanics. They were not really tightly designed. They were not really, like, rigid. Here are just the mechanics in the game. Yes, some arcade games functioned like that, things like Pac-Man and Centipede and so on. But, um... Um... There is this weirdness for me whenever I play modern games where I occasionally, and you'll see me do this with all these games, ooh, maybe if I equip this here and do that, something will happen, and then literally nothing happens, okay? <laughs> and here, in this game, I equip that ring at the top of the mage tower, and it, like, revealed a switch. What do you want from me? What do you want? Stop. No, no. Oh, my God. Um... And so here, I, like, see these rings, and I'm like, oh, my God. Is hidden mechanics happening? Shakarlak, do you want to marry me? That was really uncommon. I said uncommon because that ring was uncommon, but I, I meant to say anticlimactic. That was really useless. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let, you got it. Let go. Despy. <laughs> Do you hear this cat? Come here. Come here. Just get over there. All right. Let dad play. All right. So this was Carlac's old ring. Ring of mind shielding. Why do I have that equipped? What are the other rings that I don't have equipped here? Shape shifting or disguising yourself? No. What's the other ring she has? Corpus ring, invisibility, and blur. Uh, yeah, I guess I guess mind shield. Why not? Cool. Really should have paid attention before I tried to get us all wedded up. Can't give up now. Smoke powder bomb. Sorry. Silver cake stand. So what? Silver cake stand. The number of little things that this game does is, is insane. It's just insane to me. So, add wares. The wares over there is like you just don't care. Like it, the, the amount of little things where like if you hold Alt, you can it and it shows the name of the object. You can hover over the title, or you can hover over the object itself. Like, here is the object, but like, the, um, if I drop this, hold on, hold on, drop, drop item. So here, here's the cake stand. So I can pick it up by hovering over the cake stand, and you can see the grab icon goes there, but I can also hover over the, the words itself, which means you never have to pixel hunt. Now it says ready. It says roots. Aims for the okay. Let's read this. These are little saccharine in places, but one or two have genuine merit. As something more than religious doggerel. Something that actually evokes the complicated feelings of loss and hope for the departed, their well-being, their eternal preservation in some paradise. Now it says roots. Why would it say... Oh, Roots! Oh, hell yeah. All right. Go, 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 go. Llama the Yogurt says, With AI, is it going to open up new gameplay mechanics? Will it even be possible to have identical playthroughs? I think... I think there's possibilities. What is this? Huh. Huh. Let's move. 
Oh. Oh, I was disoriented. I thought it was the other direction. Okay. Okay. I mean, I, again, I think it's kind of like a question of, well, how? How would it actually be used to be good? Careful. Those are mean locks. Mean locks? These buggers thrive in the dark. Let's light them up. So, can I not cast this? Oh, I can cast it, even if I'm holding this? Or, oh, okay, l let me make sure I understand this. There are certain weapons that if I hold, I cannot cast spells, but it's false that I need a staff to be able to cast spells. I think that's right. I think it's actually correct. All right, what's the health on these guys? Level six? Are you literally joking me? What do these guys have? Fear aura. Can possibly frighten nearby beasts. Oh. Alright. Lightning bolt. Dude, I, I literally have used chromatic orb so many times, and I think it is so good. Winning them up. 60 60. Critical miss and 27. Alright. Let's have some carnage. Let's have some carnage. Why is he disadvantage? I'm frightened? Frightened? Cannot move? Frightened? I have disadvantage on what? Oh my god, men lock fear. Men lock fear? Oh my god, I didn't realize I was afraid. I did not know I was afraid. Alright, well I guess it's just gonna be... This one then. 42%, not a problem. Told you. Was a level three time looking spell on your guy? That's a great question. Oh, shadow teleport? Oh, come on. This reminds me of the absolute classic, the greatest, one of the finest movies ever created. Uh, I don't know if you guys have heard of a movie called Pitch Black. It's so good. Yeah, Billy Zane. Reckless attack. Save main hand. 88, feeling great. Oh, whoops, oops, oops, oops. Oh. Alright, great. Okay, so now that they're getting clustered, I do have the ability to do some nut be lightning. Some of that NL, some of the old nut be lightning. Okay, so now we actually have some opportunity to do some Goot spells. This is Bestow Curse. I think we're just literally going to do Spirit Guardians with some Radiant damage. I think Radiant is cooler. Five. Five damage. Oh, but she's she's afraid. Oh, no, no. She has... She is ex under... She is under Menlock Fear, which is a condition that means I can occasionally trigger actual frightened, which is something different. So that means that I should be able to still move. So I will. And I want to continue to go forward. And I want to pull back again. God, she's good. And then we're also going to throw out my usual favorite weapon. Gonna go ahead and end the turn, and then uh, we have these three men locks coming up next. But these are where's this one? Ah, it's this one. Okay, and the turn, and this is gonna be lacerate. Yeah, let's make you. Haha, <laughs> nice. She has a pretty good amount of combat. I, I think I did not quite appreciate the sheer volume of combat that occurred in this game. 
So let's see. So... Okay, wait. Can I... Twin spell... Lightning? Nope. Nope. Okay, hold on. What happened? <laughs> what happened? What happened? What happened? Okay. Uh, well, I deleted uh, Spirit Guardians. That's that's bad. Uh, twenty Menlock twenty eighteen. A Star Guardian for fourteen. Shadow Heart seven. This for fifteen. Carlock for fifteen damage. Okay. All right. You know we 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 did some. We did a little bit of harm. Let's spill some blood. It's all right. I'll be the first one to admit that maybe that wasn't the best that I've ever done. Uh, where's an oil of accuracy? Dude, I can't wait to just absolutely coat this thing in oil. Oh, you do have it. Is it right here? Yeah. Oil of accuracy. All right, another 10%. Pretty good. You absolute... Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I think that I think that the twin spell needs to be a targeted spell. That's definitely what I want. So what I like to do is do stuff first and figure out if I like that at all. Second. All right, wh where's another one that I could potentially burst down? Enrage throw. Pick up an item or creature and throw it at a target, dealing additional damage from the ground. Strike. All right. Well, I will. So I've done one attack. Oh my god! I didn't even see this guy here. Oh shit! Is that the next one to attack? Okay, that's me. That's fine. All right. Well, whatever. Reckless attack every time. Reckless attack every time. Oh wait, that's right. That's the third action then. Okay. So here's what be the frenzy strike. Oof. Ow. My bow. Oh. Um, great. Okay, so actually what, what are what are some high level spells that I have? I have remove curse, bestow curse, fear. I don't even think I really have that many spells. I mean I have this one. Ignace. I mean truly I don't sixteen. Alright. Hey Sacred Flame, are you ready for a good old fifty-five? Fine. Where where are you, Astarion? Your silly hat. So I mean, this is this is looking fine. What area is this? This is. Um... All right. Can I float over to this guy? Hold on. Hold on. I have to be very tactical. Right there. Mm -hmm. This is just next to the Lost Inn thing. Last night in. Lost night in. Yeah, you know, I, I was saying earlier, I think this game actually has a really good balance, a really good ratio of, um, like, combat to areas where you can talk to people. Like, the game begins, and it's a very dramatic, long opening sequence. And then the first thing you will typically do is encounter those ruins where I got everybody killed. Um, the town, the Druid Grove, is like the most populated person-heavy place in the entire Act 1, I think. Outside of the Goblin Town, where everybody died. <laughs> I mean, it's actually pretty pretty nice in terms of its distribution of those things. Oh, look, it's me. Not me. It's just these three, right? Yeah. I I'm just gonna... Can't trip it up. Okay, this is the game. Shall we dance? Shall we dance? Take a bite out of crime. Oh. 
killed everyone in the goblin town? Yeah, I've killed every goblin has ever existed in this game is actually the more accurate statement. Frenzied Strain? Ah, uh, yeah. I want to do this. Frenzied Strain. Alright, so I will... Uh, oh, don't attack the dead guy. Attack this one. Reckless attack. Silenced? Heck yeah, dude. I forgot she has the silence sword. Frenzied Strike. 84% damage. 10! Oh! What better way to finish than with sacred play? Okay. Sixty percent one time. Crit. Shall cut and run. What did he say? I was. Okay, I was. <laughs> the server needed a moment or something. Philip, Philip Busseter says the only complaint I have about this game is that it is not noob friendly in Act Three and still having trouble understanding how some mechanics work. I I am not sure what I think about that. I I think I generally am of the opinion that he, he, here's something that I am willing to say, Philip Busseter. People, I think, over-index on how important it is for someone to understand everything in your game. That is, people can understand very little and still have a great time, and I think it's more important to make sure that people are having a lot of fun and that the fun continues to grow, and when you try to reach in for even more fun, there's more fun there. I think that is way more important than those other things. And what I mean is I have seen people... Reckless attack. Enrage throw. <laughs> like, Dota, I, I have no clue when it was that I actually understood what all the heroes did and what all the items did. Probably about 1,500 hours in. And boy, was that a fun 1,500 hours. I think that in this game, I, I don't have a clue how half these mechanics work, and it doesn't matter. Goth Ice Dog. Oh. Covert Cow. Had the wares. But I, I, I have seen this happen where there are games that are kind of neat. But someone who sits down to play them in like a play test will go like, ooh, I'm worried. That's, that's really complicated. You explained it to me, and I think I get it now, but I actually think that maybe you shouldn't have that. Uh, maybe it needs to be more simplified. Okay, we got a lot of feedback from people that it was, it was complicated, you know. So we, we removed it and we no longer got that complaint. Okay, there you go. Like, and so I, I think that... Um, These boots have seen everything. It can feel correct to overly simplify something. And part of me is like, oh, dude, if you can get 2,000 hours deep in Dota and still, like, have only played, like, 10 heroes... And you don't really know what anything does. But you're having a blast. That's great. Like, the fact that you got to Act 3 and you're still having a blast you have no choice is great. Because I think that the goal um, for a developer is first and foremost to make sure you have fun. And to make sure lots of people have fun. It can be true that a game is fully understandable very quickly. Could, could be, but I, I don't even know if that's a good goal to have. I, I, I actually, I really don't. So hidden amidst columns detailing the income and expenditure of a tavern as an aside. Written in tiny, urgent handwriting. I have concealed the sacred relics of our revered goddess in the darkest corner of this place. Morfred, my loyal brother, who's named an embarrassing name, seeks to, reforge, or excuse me, seeks to forge a network of allies to stand against the oppressive reign of Catherick Thorne. 
Sadly, fear has gripped the heart of many, turning them away from our cause. I cannot truly blame them, for trepidation fills my soul as well. But I must put aside my own fears and reunite with Morfred in the bowels of the Mason's Guild. Together, we shall preserve what we can of the Moon Maiden's light. I hope the banners of the faithful soon rise again. Teach the treacherous dog form. Plate, add to where? Oops. Wish I had a bag of holding. Climb on up there. Alright, silver chalice. Take a minute to where? <coughs> let me out, let me out, let me out! Because, like, I think that that statement. Ah, it doesn't feel very newbie friendly. Like, I'm a newbie. I, I, I didn't know how this game worked. It feels really, really rough. It feels really hard to understand how shit works. I want to click on this. Can I go to tactical view? Let me click on this. I want to click on this. Damn it. I think those statements are true. Could, could they maybe have done a better job explaining things? Maybe. Maybe. But does not matter? I'm not sure. Threads of silver. Dearest Saloon, our fair maiden, weave our hearts with threads of silver, guide us with light of the moon, and quench us with the purest of tears. Shadows taunt us, hear our prayer. Shadows stalk us, hear our prayer. Shadows wound us, hear our prayer. That's how to pronounce that word. Saloon, thou with radiant loom, mend our hearts with threads of silver. Heal us with drops of morning dew, and soothe our souls with the softest star glow. Yeah, dude, there was this cracked wall that I didn't actually wind up hitting. And it doesn't rhyme. I know how embarrassing. Curse to put my hands on everything. Take a peek through here. Dude, when you go to this angle, doesn't this look a little bit like Elden Ring? Like, just a little bit? Watch how you go. There's a trap. And you know what? I actually don't need... I don't need a star in to do that. See? So easy. I already have one, two, three, four, five, six. I might even just I might even roll two and be fine. Not that I would ever dare. Success. Then I can crack that open. I don't need a star on. I don't need that. I'm gonna roll a ten. Four plus two plus three plus three. I don't need a Stario. I don't need that. But in the interest of time, let's go I've ahead and lock like this. In the interest of time. That's what I would have done. That's what I would have done, you know? Success continue. Unlocked. And well that ends. get out of my way! <laughs> Not as bad as it I want have. the coruscation ring. When the wearer deals spell damage while illuminated by a light source, they also inflict radiating orb upon the target for two turns. And radiating orb is like bonus to Oh, and minus one to attack rolls. Alright. Oh, this definitely goes on Carlock, hundred percent. So then this, I think, should become this new ring, right? For shoving an enemy, do something? Okay. Hello, Despy. Hello, baby. Coruscation ring and the mage's friend. So this is illuminated by light source, which is this. And just to understand, if I hit this button... Oh, it actually shows up in the inventory. And what is this one? Yeah, that's really good. Um, let's see here. 
Um, but if I go to here... So I am... I take it I'm not illuminated. Oh, I actually don't even need it out here. Okay. But hold on. But wait. What the? Holy shit. Is there just another huge area down here? I think I should actually go up this way first. Okay, wait. Wait. Everyone wait. So, this thing... This has the, the lady in it. Can she get out? Because I, I don't know. Equip. Oh. This, this action. Okay. And now I see. Do, 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 do. So there should be an ability now. What is that? How does this work? Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on, everyone, hold. Oh, yeah, I still have the iron flask. And how does this thing work? I've always wondered how the hell this thing works. Okay, so this is sorcerer. These are my sorcerer class actions. If I hover over this. I mean, this is killing me. All right, so let, let me see here. Okay, wait, so it's out, so if I do this. Haha! -ha! Ready to come out now. Oh my god. Okay, so here's the thing. Carlac was pissed when I did this. Carlac was pissed. Yeah, Carlac approves. Finally! Been trapped in that coffin with no one but a Madge Rider and my own farts for company. Ah. Did me a good turn there, didn't you? What do I owe you? Uh. I need to get through the Shadow Curse. Can you help? Sure I can. But will I? Yeah, sure. Why not? Here. Give this bell a shake. Speak the magic words and you'll get what you've earned. Protection from the Shadow Curse. What more could a dingus want? Hmm. You're welcome. Oh, that was weird. By the way, I'm seeing a lot of uh, mod timeouts in the chat. I'm seeing a lot of good old mod timeouts. Um, this is a no backseating stream. This is a no saves coming stream. This is a... If I am speaking aloud... already haven't you move on with your life what what the hell what can I use this on this What? I do not understand at all. I do not understand. I've been scammed. Don't waste a step. All right, guys, hold on. Let me, let me, I'm going to clear chat. I, I, I cannot, I cannot stress this enough. I am sharing what is going on in my head. I am not begging for information. I'm just sharing what I'm thinking. Don't ever tell me anything ever under any circumstance in any situation. Everyone calm the hell down. At day nine TV, you need to do this. At day nine TV, you gotta do this. At day nine, you gotta do this. I don't need to do any of that shit. I'm interested in what this game is offering. 
I'm just enjoying. Ooh, what does this do? Does this let me do that? If I wanted to figure it out, I would just open up a wiki. Only when I say, backseat me. It's backseat o'clock. So here's, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go up the knotted oh, yeah. roots, because this is where I'm actually in the true darkness. Oh, pixie blessing. Oh, I see. That's what it is. Okay. Because I was originally a little confused uh, of this, and this I thought was dark vision. Is that... Okay. I, I, I don't know why I thought that. There you go. I'm gonna go around this way. I'm gonna figure out what's over here. Because also, I'll be really honest, I like not knowing what is going on or what to do. I enjoy being in that state and asking myself little questions. Does this do something? Does this do something? Does this do something? And then eventually I figure out that it does something. So this is piercing resistance, slashing immunity. Force vulnerability. Oh, that's thunder. That's not force. I, I enjoy that act of figuring figuring stuff out. So if I hit it, yeah, get him. I enjoy the act of figuring that out. I think that's very fun to just like figure stuff out and not know and then go, ah, I found it, hooray. And so whenever someone, whenever I'm like, oh, I don't know how this thing works. How does this work? What is this? What the heck? I'm sort of explaining my process that is in, is joyful to me. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, we got music. Ignible hat. Uh-oh. Got a new hat for you, Astarion. Yeah. Sean, you better speak out loud or else it'll be a silent stream. Well, maybe I'll punish you that way sometime. Mm-mm-mm. Guys, I'm going to withhold chat. You've earned this. All right, so... I have disadvantage against this. Do we have here? Punish us, Papa Nutby. <laughs> ah, yes, my favorite slash fic. You know what we haven't talked about? You know what we have not talked about? That might be worth a look. Did anyone follow what happened with OpenAI over the weekend? Because Thursday was my last stream of last week. On Friday, the board fired the CEO. There was an interim CEO that came in. That person was fired. Uh, Emmett Shear, the former CEO of Twitch, was appointed the CEO of, like, on Saturday or Sunday. CEO of Microsoft announced that he brought in the former CEO of OpenAI as an internal CEO for a brand new division of Microsoft. Um, all the OpenAI employees, like over 700 employees, signed a letter saying that they were all going to join Microsoft under this new venture unless the entire old board resigned. Um, on Monday, Sam Altman, the CEO, goes to work at Microsoft... <laughs> um, um, and then Emmett Shear said like um, he, he started the first thing he did was try to investigate what the reasons were for the firing and he was unable to get any so he said that then he would resign unless things were fixed and then Sam Altman has as of this morning been reinstated as the CEO of OpenAI I was just like, what? <laughs> I mean, I, like, I, 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 I just, I just don't know. I mean, I was, that, that was like since my last stream in this stream. 
Lime, lemon, and lichen dye. Right. That's some incredible stuff. Oh, these are all... These are all beverages, right? Someone just naps here? Naps and drinks? May the darkness protect you. Uh, bye. Yeah, no, I've, I've heard all sorts of crazy rumors. I have no I I literally don't even know of any of the stuff about the reasoning and why is actually factual. I have no idea. Because speculating is more fun than fact collecting. So there's been a lot of really high level speculating. A lot of fun stuff there. currently in control here. Oh, is that all in my... Yeah, here's the stuff. That's my alchemy pouch. Yeah, here's everything. I mean, it's it's just it's just a wild and wacky thing. Like, I, I mean, I, I just... I, I know so little about what happened, but I just couldn't believe that, like... Especially, like, Emmett being, like, the CEO. That just, like, came out of nowhere. <laughs> I mean... Uh, oh, my God. It's so funny. Ooh, bottles. Send a camp. So this looks like someone's got a little home here, huh? Well, at least they used to. This kind of looks like my cupboards. I don't know about you, but I, I, I sometimes... There's times when I'm like, alright, I'm gonna get a bunch of spinach because I'm gonna be really healthy this week. And then, like, for lunch, I'll just, like, go get a deli sandwich. It's very tasty. The next day, oh, I kind of want to get another deli sandwich. The next day, oh, I kind of want to get another deli sandwich. More for me. More for me. I always forget my character's voice. And then he talks and it always startles me. Nickel Gulls is literally rotten spinach in my fridge right now. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Last light, detention cell key. A for Azuth and the other gods. So I mean, you know, seems seems alright to me. But dude, yeah, when that ju when that when that was going down, man, I, I just because oh, I, I, I think Chat GPT is terrific. Stuff's awesome. Oh yeah. <sighs> All right. Shoot a Starion. Oh, wait, I, I see. I, I forgot that I was still on a Starion. Is that blood? No, never mind. Last night, detention key. What could be in here? Is there something behind here? Why would this be locked? Maybe there's valuables here? Send a camp. Empty bottles? You joking me? Swift as my feet can carry me. Swift as my feet can carry me. I know. Got to be something over here. Nothing. Cracked wall. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Go, go, go. Go. Ah. Break it down. Ah. Ah. I love circles and going in them. Ah, 
God, I love circles. Circles are so cool. Oh, thank God, I need these. Anytime I see a scroll or Vivify, I'm like, oh, thank God, I can be more reckless. Yeah, man, I, I just, I... All of that was truly so, 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 so wild to me. So insanely wild to me to see. That was just nuts. Oh, 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 the Harpers. Oh my god, I know the Harpers. I know them. The Harpers are a secretive organization whose main purpose is the preservation of all things good and right in the world. I mean, that doesn't sound like anyone would ever misjudge what is good and right. They have Fox evil at every turn, with shrewd fighting or cunning political manoeuvre. And though they are not well organized, how could they be, with many members utterly ignorant of the identity of those they claim might, uh, they might claim as allies, they are united in purpose and goal. One Harper agent deployed correctly in a conflict often achieves the same result as a loosed army. A yeah, secret org writes in a book, I know. They, sh they, they should use Snapchat. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. Did that. It's done. Small gate three only on one day. It's generally monkey poop. Generally. Final journey of Nutby. Shall take place on a Wednesday, my dude. All right, I'm gonna go talk to some of those Harpers. Harpery, Barpery, Boos. Actually, where, where are the Harpers, man? There they are. Harper Terminal. What a Harper Terminal. I'd rather face Ketherick's armies than suffer traitors. Watch out for those flaming fists. Oh yeah, I forgot I got ambushed. I forgot I forgot. What 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 are my quests, man? So this is done. Yeah, I can go back there at some point. So, dude, should I, I? I don't know. I don't. I don't want to consume any parasites. I don't want to do this, man. I don't think we should do it. Discover the artifacts, secrets. We're getting there. Uh, she's looking for it on behalf of the absolute. Believes to be in the Emerald Grove. Just find out more about it. Okay. Cipher books about Orpheus. Read a book with the Lost Prince Orpheus. Claims that Lockith is not the true queen of Githyanki. Prince Orpheus is the true heir. Oh yeah, here's Baldur's Gate. We're not there. Alright, Selenite Resistance. Punish the wicked. Oh, these are not completed. They're just... What? Okay, I see here. All right, all right, all right. Okay, I see. Yeah, so th this is roughly how I was understanding. All right. All right, where's the trader? Where's, where's my traders at? Matis. You know, I'm actually going to go to this literally better trader over here. Seems like a good moment to talk. Seems like a good moment to talk. Paris is so tasty, though. I sold a pair of boots to that traitor. Can't believe it. All right, well. Sell wares. Bam. Hmm. It's a 
Shut. Trust no one. What other garbage does Nutby have over here? Or glass. Please do this. Uh, I mean, pretty much I always want potions, right? Keep all the scrolls, have a little revivification. Plain gold ring. Circle of blasting? I kind of think. Kind of think circle of blasting is good. Oh, just a, a thickle. Dude, look at look at this Lump's Warhorn. This is so cool that I have this. Stuffed Owlbear toy? No, I'm keeping that shit, man. It's just empty bottles. I just have so much grease. Hmm. Yeah. Fuck, I donated. God, I just can't. You can't trust the user, can you? You can't. Like, the user is just like, are you sure you want to? I hit that yes shit so fast, man. Ah, you hate to see it. That's tough. It's tough to be me. Ah, yeah, I just can't believe it. That boost relations? Discount minus 42%? I don't know. Tick cat now. Tick cat now. Carl like has a bunch of garbage on her, doesn't she? All right. See if there's anything you need. We All don't right. know when the next blow might land. A blow might land. Abyss beckoners, where some creature has resistance to all. I mean, that seems like I should hold it. I don't know. There's there's just a lot of garbage here on, on Milady. Cruel sting. A drought wilderness weapon has an additional sale. Let's let's do this. And let's not fuck it up. Okay, so great club. Don't need this. Spell sparkler. Nope, I like my weapon more. Funny hat. Hat of fire acuity. What's arcane acuity do again? Plus one to all attack rolls. Okay. Shield of Scorching Reprisal. Yeah, I mean, I just don't need any of this stuff. Abyss Beckoners. Don't need this. Sentient Amulet. I think we should hold on to, huh? God, that was the most difficult thing I've ever done. This is the thing I want to hit. Whew. All right. It's a tough game. Very tough game. Okay, it's a tough game. It's a tough game. But, like, as a high elo gamer, okay, no. I'm not worried about my ability to consistently get that done. I'm going to get it done. I wish I had a bloody army. Jeez Louise. So, we're now going to continue to explore the Bottomlands. Alright, here's where I did a lot of cooking. A lot of cooking. Cockfumi says bartering esports. I know. I know. That's what VCs did. VCs <laughs> dragged a bunch of cash over, hit the button, and it said, Did you want to make a donation? And they hit yes, and then they went, Oh, this doesn't make any money. Oh, ah, well, we better just say it was a market condition issue and move on to the next bet. <laughs> I saw that announcement that Evil Geniuses is going to exit esports. I, I, I just, that is like the weirdest thing that I'd ever read. Like, literally, number one. Yeah, I mean, it, it's reports. I don't know if, if it's accurate or true. But, you know what? I will hit the button. And I will let my can't get there. I'm going to get there from here. 
XC Sports to do what? Yeah, I, like, I don't know. The old owner, uh, or the, the founder and former owner of EG. Alex Garfield. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Basically created a business from scratch. With his bad hands. Go, Nutby! Seed weapons. Looks like they haven't been touched in a hundred years. History failed. There's always one. Yeah, and then uh, ever since it has not been under his guidance, not not seen good things happen. Not now, jump over here. Over here. All right. What now? Best be on my way. So yeah, no, I mean that like that that and that's weird because like you know obviously I. My, my main background is in StarCraft. And I mean, they were even in StarCraft 1. Oh, Astarion. I have good news. I need to start having Astarion use these more because Astarion has like so many things. Uh, there is something that I find like very. <laughs> hey, what up, Unright? It's a nut be day. There's something that I find like deeply and profoundly interesting about the fact that there are a lot of businesses that, frankly, can that are, are are established so sensibly you can have almost no oversight and they'll they'll just work fine. Just literally work fine. Like, the formula for Red Bolts, that shit's figured out. Shit's figured out. Is there still lots of hard work to be done in that business? Oh yeah, 100%. In terms of marketing and distribution, and things like the ingredients for that product, the distributor for that might be changing its, uh, you know, what it has access to and be changing its prices. I remember uh, hearing about this problem that McDonald's would have where they came up with a uh, like they, they were researching an idea for a drink that had blueberries but they wouldn't have been able to introduce it because it would require literally more blueberries than were physically possible to supply to them during that time of year <laughs> there just were not enough blueberries in America for it and I was just like yeah I guess I guess when you, you're the one that actually makes the shit like you gotta make sure it's all sourced properly like, there, there's a lot of things like that but, I mean, even still, that's the kind of thing where if for some reason one year um, a bunch of old people come out and a bunch of new people come into Red Bull and spend the year kind of getting oriented and getting on their feet, trying to figure out what the, the plan is and stuff. Formula for Red Bull still figured out. People are still going to be buying it and so on. And so I think that there's a lot of businesses that have so much historical momentum to them. There's already like factories that have been established and warehouses and distribution patterns and so on and so forth that have been so well established that it's not like some dummy can come in and ruin it overnight. And for that reason, I think it's just fascinating, endlessly fascinating to me, stories of businesses that do wind up going busto over time. Yankee sh short sword? Interesting. Carlac, you're more ripped. You can hold it. Weave them off. Better of surrender. Oh, I want to read this. Let's see what this does. General Catherick Thorne, it is with a heavy heart that I must announce the surrender of the Harper forces and its allies to your darkest as your army, under unanimous agreement. Harpers work against villainy and wickedness wherever they find it. So states our code. So here we have acted. But I also know all well how the statement continues. But they walk ever mindful of the consequences of what they do. We cannot be party to the suffering of the people of Rythwin. And indeed, a great loss of life that this war will visit upon the Sword Coast, perhaps beyond it. So it is written, and let it be done. 
Kelvin Aronson on behalf of High Harbor Council and its allies. Two words a slash across the bottom of the scroll, surrender decline. Damn, that's brutal. Yeah, absolutely brutal. <clears throat> That's curious. Well, that's curious. What is this? The wares. Actually, what, what is everyone's necklace? This is the voice of the circle. What's this do? Oh, this needs to be replaced. This thing sucks. Um. Ice knife? Why not? Show them voice of the circle. This is plus two in persuasion checks. She's already given us, like, plus one to four on so many of our things. Where's the dark justicier mask? Here? Sort by type. As Retro says, I feel like most of them are non tangible product companies, just like what happened to Twitter. Yeah, because there's like a lot of physical product companies. Where there is just, it is takes so much time oh, cool, to like establish what the heck even houses the products. What the heck even makes the products. This way. Creating established relationships with people to collect and transport the products and yada yada. So once you get those, it's a lot of work to create those, and they like to friggin' they exist. <laughs> Keep a blade close. But uh, I don't know. I don't know. Just just a, 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 any story about something that's, that goes really really wrong, I find fantastically interesting. Like okay, because there, there's two kinds of things. Like, in order, I love stories of things that go really wrong, uh, particularly in, in business and e in economics. And then uh, the thing that I like almost as much is the stories of how certain businesses or products or things do fine. And the thing I care least about is these fucking success stories. I don't give a shit about these ones, man. I don't care at all about these success stories. Oh, my God. Because, uh, like, I want to... Uh, like. My background is math with an emphasis on probability, statistics, and combinatorics, okay? <laughs> so, like, that's the lens through which I see the world. And as a statistical example, when you're doing something creative, where there's lots of unpredictability, you're dealing with lots of probabilities. So you might wind up with something like if you uh, take a thousand equally unintelligent dummies and put them in charge of a thousand different uh, game studios, all coming up with their various game ideas, Critical success. It's false that 100% of them will fail. It's like maybe 1% of them will succeed and 99% of them will fail. So that means of the thousand dummies, 10 of them actually made a successful game. And of those 10, <laughs> it's going to be the most successful one. And then they're going to be on a panel. What did you do to succeed? Let me tell you my journey to get here. I mean, I, it, it's, it's one of these things that I find it so frequently to be not real knowledge. Where if you apply almost any thought in the slightest about this, yeah, you know, the way that I really think that the most important thing to making a good game is good relationships. I really had a good relationship with my engineer from day one, and it's been really helpful. And I'm like... Right. <laughs> like, all right. Okay. That's what. Wow. So I should stop calling my my engineers fuckos. Is that what I should stop doing? That's great. It's not untrue, but it's also not like particularly noteworthy. There's this like Still attribution alive. bias that I just so feel progress. dripping in so many of these statements. If not over, then through. Oh, anything, anything of use? use? That's all over this guy. Did I? Have we done it? A 
And that's why I find stories of total failures to be really interesting or things that were, were going well and then they started to disintegrate because there, there's often stuff that's like really material there and interesting. And what, actually, I think maybe my most favorite, oh yeah, Hell Hill. That, I want to go back to Hell Hill. So let's go over there. This I was just not prepared for. See, so up here is where I looked and I was just like, oh my god, I'm never going there. So let's go there, huh? Let's go there, shall we? So it's this little winding. Where is it? Yeah, here we go. Yeah, I was scared to go up here because it was just so... It looked very scary. Completionist 9 TV. Shadow Cursed Shambling Mound. Alright. Alright, we're going to prepare this. Before I begin to do this attack, I will finish this point. Again, I think that it is really interesting the stories of like fine successes particularly books where there's some there, there are authors that just write a book a year have a niche following and are just successful authors and there you go their books are consistent and people buy them consistently and they're not the most amazing things ever they're solid and there you have it or things like Hallmark movies. These things that are very easy to make fun of. Oh yeah, dude, it was so cheesy. I felt like I was watching a Hallmark movie. And though they crank those fuckers out. Like how do you how do how is it? How do you achieve the continuous cranking out of a work like this that people will just buy with consistency? What are the qualities that allow you to do that? Yeah, lifetime movies. Fuck yeah. Or in my case, K dramas. All right, where's the grease? All right. All right, you actually have to aim at the right place on the stair. Here you go. Yeah, pseudonyms or music where the top album is something everyone claims to hate yet sells millions. Yeah, or like the 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 people that don't sell millions and have been musicians for 20 years, and there you go. Alright, so here we go. Visibility. Step in a service that could become dangerous affected by elements like firelight. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, my frames. Oh, no. Oh, we're getting a little stuttery. We're getting a little stuttery. Hold on. We're going to save and reload. 64 hours this game rules. Is it an item or something that highlights enemies like that? I passed a skill check when I walked there earlier on that caused them to be revealed. Yeah, I mean, like, the, these stories of kind of, like, in the middle, success, I just think are, like, fascinating. And in games, it would be something like uh, the game uh, Warframe. It's just, like, super solid. It's not getting, like, the giant continuous press... Holy shit. What spells do I actually have here? Let's see. 
to I don't want this guy. All right, who, who got slowed? Good, slowed, fuck yeah. Target outside normal range. Okay, let's go a little closer. Let me move. Let me... There we go, camera. Another arrow of ice. I really want these guys to be slow. Okay. Well, so much for peace. So I'm currently concentrating. Guy is slowed. Okay. Oh, I already used my action. Okay, so that's okay, because I will... On the other side of the grease. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Perfect. Perfecto. Okay, so here he comes. He's dashing. Okay, so I'm going to do my usual favorite bonus action, which is to summon... I don't know if the axe can slip on grease. Okay, and then we're going to Sacred Flame. 91%, love to see it. I have these greased, hopefully cause as many to slip as possible so I can chip away from them at a range. I keep getting stuck. Let's see what, what weapon dips I can do. Yeah, I'm going to do Arrow of Lightning. Very, very frightening. 16%. Low ground. Outside normal range. Alright. Scoot here. Shoot this. Too dark. You know what? It's fine. 15% is good enough. All right, 16% one time. Yeah! Fuck yeah, Carlock Mask, my girl. All right, end the turn. Lacerate. Dude. Play is way too tactical for someone not playing on Tactician. It's the power trip I go for, FWSM. I, I think maybe I should actually try to just chain detonate these other guys. Oh my god, reality! Oh no! Alright, there we are. Okay, so. What to do? What to do? Dude, oh my god, why is it too dark? Disadvantage? He's down? Alright, well, I mean, I guess. I guess I'll just hamstring this guy. Hamstring? Wrong one. Okay, don't stress about it. Don't don't beat yourself Love up. Comes easy these days. Um, what what do I even want to do here? It's a dead harper. percent is not bad. What's the target of this? Okay, I'm going to twin this, and I'm just going to thunder wave. I'm actually going to try to hit 
these little small guys. If I can start blowing those up, they can really spread into a lot of damage. Time to press ahead. Ultra Haste says, hey, I haven't tuned into your stream in a while. What games do you mostly play these days? I, I don't even know if I have an answer for that. Lately, it's been like Magic and Baldur's Gate 3. But I've been kind of doing a big old variety of stuff lately. Dude, this grease is it, man. Alright. Pull back this way. Rune doesn't connect four in a while. Oh, they just walked around the grease? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. That's not good at all. Um. Huh. I think I should actually just go do this. Zero and zero. Oh my god, I love Carlax so much. Reckless attack. Uh, and then probably a Frenzied Strike. Uh, we'll cause a stack of Frenzied Strain. What other attack could I do? Throw this guy at this guy. Nice. All right, that went that went effectively as intended. And she has bonus moves, so I can just run away again. Nice. Nice. That felt great. That's some good stuff. So now, now we have these bastards in here. So maybe I can use one of my mega things that I've not used yet. Yeah, I'll just shoot this guy in the back. Two health, two, two health. Okay. With finesse. No choice, but just, just going. small backup. Immobile and constricted. Dude, you know what? I'm gonna throw. Where, where's where's my alchemist fire here, man? Huh? All right then. <laughs> Whoops. Whoopsie doopsie. Okay. Help her up. This guy is real slow. Tactical. fast. Okay, so Bonus action. I'm gonna go ahead and use heal level three on myself. Really not good at all. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, this this shadow cursed shamble bloggy guy it just like fell over on the grease. Like, I think that I have dealt with this guy so well. Like, slowed him with invisibility, and then retreated. Through, I got two layers of grease. This guy's fallen down again. I probably want these guys to get... I Weirdly, I'm not that worried about these. Moving. 25%? Not a problem. Let's see? Nothing important is ever easy. So I, I do think I want to keep slowing this guy. Maybe I should just do chromatic orb and do ice. Or I should just forget to twin it. That's also totally an option. So each time I hit it with ice, its movement is slowed. I just don't want this thing nearby me. <laughs> I 
He just... He loves naps. He's just taking naps. He's prone again, man. Look at him. He gets a... Oh! He like gets a... Oh! <laughs> oh! You know what? Sacred Flame. Hell yes. Healing. Ocean healing is all on Tarlac. Split item right down the middle. Let us take a drink. Now this is my happy place. So outside normal range. Okay, so I, I'm, I'm largely just going to be chipping at these guys up here because they're, they're, as far as I can tell, going to be doing long range constriction attacks from that angle. And that means that I can just chip away at these as much as I so desire. Now this is the one that I really want to deal the damage to. So we're gonna, I'm going to continue to try to deal uh, as much ice damage, slowing, greasing, shit like this. Okay, double miss is totally fine. I like don't care. I'm not going to burst into tears. This is the game. Stand up. <laughs> is he? No, he's just in difficult terrain. Up. When this guy's closer, I'll start sending in Arlac and friends and other ones. Doing fives are fine. It, it, it's dealing like a little bit of. Wait, what? I am like so close to dead. Whoops. There might be time to use a major ability from Arlac. I think I've been miss. <laughs> Restricted. Per turn. Okay, I'll be honest. I last remembered just the one D4 necrotic damage. That's what I that's what I had recalled. So survival is all that matters. Alright, do I have a greater healing potion? Dark Amethyst. Dude, look at how many Mind Flayer Parasite specimens I have. Alright. Alright, I don't think I have any of these. Oh, did I? Oh, I. Oh. I. So I might. So we might. Okay. Why not? I'll have a drink. Oh, yeah, it's close to the end. Why not? Why not take a drink? already. Ready for another round. Okay, so do we have any um, oil uh, what is it? What, what, uh, actual backseat question. What's the name of uh, things that I apply to my weapon? Like a, a weapon dip. What's that called? Is it a coating? Oils. Is it, is it a dip? It's, it's weapon salsa, says I am already. So, like, 
I, I think it doesn't actually have a generic searchable name. Yeah, let me look up oils. It's got a bunch of these. You know, why not? Let's just let's just have oil. Oil! Find a route. Oh, it was used? Okay. Say bye bye. Alright. And. Didn't manage to silence, but that's alright. Restricted. What do I want to do? I will again do an ice coat. I mean, I know it can potentially hit Carlac. Oh, that's an arrow of lightning. Critical miss, critical miss. Okay. Pretty bad. Retreat. What now? I can do this at level one. Thank you. Ooh, you hate to see that. Nice, silenced. Oh my god, shit. Use the ice knife, why not? Whoopsie daisies. Put him up. So why don't I have oil? Did I does this what? Okay. Okay, there we go. I just did I apply to the wrong weapon, maybe? Um, okay, so I am constricted. game and I'm still constricted all right this is the game okay we are okay we are okay we are okay scroll of false life scroll of burning hands let's just you know I'm gonna just go all in on hitting this guy I've been silenced, and we're gonna do our frenzied attack, which is. I'm not enraged! Can't give up. Not now. Okay. We're sanctuary. So this is Malin. Do that level three here on a star now. Take two. And then on yourself, I want you to. Well, you know I'm gonna summon another weapon. I'm actually gonna put the halberd up there and try to get this to. Get off my guy. I don't think I've used this once in my entire life. Alright, never using that divinity. I must, I must heal. 
I do have a health. You cannot tell me that I do not. Uh, chromatic. Thunder. 36. One time. He's immune to thunder damage! Oh! <laughs> oh my god! I fucking hate reading! Well, who makes a game where reading the tooltip explains what the ability does? Realms of Ruin didn't do that shit. I thought that was the norm. I can't believe this. This is ridiculous. Alright. Necrotic, fire, lightning, cold. Oh my god. Well, I will go ahead and pound, pound a potion. Alright, so... All right. Oh my god. It's alive. Okay, so... Fall back. Bye forever, pal. Okay. Reckless every time. Eleven. Dude, Karlock is doing all the damage here. Frenzied strike. Eighteen. Yes, dude, that was so much damage. Eighty percent you miss. One damage is fucking game. Okay. Starion is amazingly still alive. Alright, so we got it. Harlock is the best. All right, hit him. Dude. Give me a break. Yeah, barbarian jumping is where it's at. Jump. Get Help me up. Fight. Do it, please. Oh my god, are we gonna get a sacred flame kill? Oh, we're not even gonna get sacred flame damage. Ha 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 ha! Alright. Alright, silenced, and. And. Dude, Karlak did like 400 damage in this fight. Need to find a way forward. Just get, get away from everything. Get out of there. Get. Everyone, get, get over here! Get away! God damn it! Get away from the vines! Stop slimming! Come here! Get over here! Get away! Get out of there! Oh my god! Oh my god! Everyone's falling over! Come on! Everyone get together! I'm so tired. God. Garlack leveling up. Health increased to 68 class features. You have honed your instincts to the utmost degree. You have plus three bonus to initiative and can't be surprised. Yo! Seven from heaven. Shh. Health class features. Level spore. 
Level 4 spell slot unlocked? Amazing. Banishment. Temporarily point aggressively to another plane of existence. That's pretty nuts. Death Ward. Protect creature from death. The next time it reduced to zero hit points, it remains conscious with one hit point left. Nice. Freedom of movement. Snap an ally out of any stun. Difficult terrain. Can't slow them down. They can't be magically paralyzed or restrained. What? Until long rest? What? Guardian of Face. Call forth a divine guardian that attacks nearby enemies. Every time it deals damage, the guardian loses an equal amount of hit points. Alright. Trickery domain spells. Transform a creature into a harmless sheep. <laughs> the sheep's hit points drop to zero. The target reverts to its original form with its original hit points. No! If if the sheep dies, it the, the thing dies in real life. All right, and Dimension Door. Oh, I immediately want to play Heroes of Might and Magic 2. I immediately want to play Heroes of Might and Magic 2. Teleport yourself up to one adjacent ally to a place you can't see. A place you can see. The ally cannot be larger than medium. That's one of the reasons why I'm going to the gym this upcoming year. I want to be no larger than medium. Dimension Door is really good for someone like me that is very low on Revivify Scrolls. I get one. Which which one do we actually want to have here? Yeah, that one seems cool. I want to see what that one looks like. Vulgar, bur vulgar, vulgar. Says that here's my magic three not speak to you in the same way that two did. Well, if I recall correctly, here's my magic two was 1996, and here's my magic three was 1999. I immediately want to see if that's true. Tail Dawn gifted 10 subs. Thanks, Tail Dawn. I assume you're a level 7 fan. Happy Wednesday. How you doing, Tail Dawn? Um, 3. Here's my match. 3 is... 1999. Damn, I'm good. Uh, so... When Heroes of Might Magic 2 came out in 1996, that was still two years before StarCraft 1 had come out. Um, so I actually spent most of those two years playing Heroes of Might Magic 2. StarCraft comes out in March of 98, with the expansion Brood War coming out in December of 98. And that's kind of what I did for the next 15 years. Um... And so, really, I just have disproportionately spent time on Heroes 2 compared to Heroes 3. That's about it. Tail Dons, you rock, Dane. I'm so thankful for your show and the community that your team has built. It's also a delight to see you play Gorogo this past month. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. Gorogo is kind of a magical game. Kind of a magical game, I will say. Those are really sweet. Thank you for the kind support, Tail Don. Hope you kindly enjoy your Gorgo is a really good game. I want to play more sweet-ass puzzle games. So I'm healthier. I got a level 4 spell slot. Gained a spell. So now I get to choose a level 4 spell. Ice Storm. Oh, come on. I'm doing Ice Storm. Period. I mean, I'll still look at everything. Banishment. We know Blight is a bunch of that. Um, plant Sigma some Damage. Con save, sure. Confusion. Dimension door. Dominate beast. Make beast fight alongside you. That could be quite quite powerful. But I mean, I'm literally going to get Ice Storm. Because I think Ice is awesome. It's just so cool. Uh, stone skin. <laughs> it's just a stone backhand. Kaliza, I haven't tuned in a while. Is this still an evil nice guy playthrough? I'm really, I'm really shitting the bed on being evil. Not gonna lie. I am, I am being just a good person. I'll do whatever Carlac wants. Class features evasion. Agility lets you dodge. When a spell or effect would deal half damage on a successful dexterity saving throw, deals no damage. You succeed. Only half damage. Wow. Woo! All right. So who's the healthiest among us? Carlac, you're on your own. Well, well, well. 
Ironwood Club. Underwears. I need to be really careful with wandering through here because all these guys have that, like, vine quality where they just devour my stuff. Uh, Alright, well, I'm just gonna take a quick note. Gun in the grace. Formal e former evil guy saved by Carlac therapy. Yeah, I know. And you know, I, I, it, it's not actually all that different from how I functioned as an actual human trying to navigate romance as a child. Like, when I, I, I use as a child a, a little more liberally because I do mean even up to like age twenty-five. <laughs> like, but in high school, I kind of had this notion of like, oh my God, who do you need me to be? I'll be whatever you want, just love me. I just need to figure out the right composition of my personality to where you'll just be like, yeah. And there it is. So like, what do you like country music? I love country music now. <laughs> it's just fucking, I didn't quite get it. Um, and then when I got to the end of high school and sort of early college, it started to transform into Oh, you're interested in that? I am going to try to get interested in that as much as possible. I, I, I started to get the my own identity began to bubble up, where I was like, no, I actually really like games. And I'm a very goofy person. And I, there's, there's ways I like to communicate, things that I enjoy. But, oh, you like country music? Well, I am going to listen to 40 country music albums. I will subject myself to this, because maybe we'll have a connection. And, I mean, I cannot stress to you the number of interests... I tried to develop because the person I was interested in had said interest. And the weird thing is, the more I just did and acted and pursued things that I enjoyed, easier dating became, let me tell you. Trying to figure out yourself, way fucking easier than trying to figure out what someone else wants you to be. Because it turns out that's not actually very helpful. And, uh, and now here I am, like, talking to Carlac, and she's like, I'm like, oh, I'm evil, I'm like stealing and shit, I'm like, just like trying to say mean things to people in conversation. And then Carlac, she's just like, I just want people to be good. And I'm like, me too, literally, of course, like, why would I not? Like, there it is. Easy Artorias says, I had a girl in high school do this, but the other way around, she pretended to like my music taste. I didn't realize it until after we broke up. Your music was always shitty. You're like, wait a minute, isn't that your favorite album? That was never my favorite album. And that, that feels like feels like a real gotcha moment to someone that does not understand how to where their feelings lie. Yeah, I never liked the thing that I lied and said that I liked. Ha! Huh, I lied to you. Gotcha. Take that. I win. <laughs> yeah, I mean you won something. Okay. Easy Artorias says I was very hurt. Yeah. Yeah, I think I feel like there's a transition point in most people's life where they where they go, you know what? Like because when you're young, you just think that you're right. You think that you're right. Don't touch me. I always think that I'm right. They're my thoughts. And I've thought through them. And these thoughts that I have tell me that the way that I feel Don't and the things that I think that. are the right way to think. And um, when you get older, you start to realize, you know what? I think there are times when I really was wrong, and I think I should have reflected on that. I really, I really, I've learned a lot. And, and if I went back, I wouldn't have done that. I wouldn't have acted the way that I did back then. Then you get even older, and you're like, I no longer trust anything I did from age 30 and down. <laughs> like, wow, everything that guy did. Jeez, holy. I don't know about me. I don't know if you guys had that, but I definitely am like looking at him like, ugh. Ugh. A 
crooked touch. Yeah, now, now if anyone comes up to me and they're like, hey, I really think that that thing you did when you were 25 is bad. I'd be like, listen, before you even tell me what it is, I agree. What is this? Self-immolation? Set yourself on fire to gain heat? <sighs> How many times will it let me do this? Is it just tooltips all the way down? So if I hit escape... Oh, it just closes them all. Damn. Oh, come on. Come on. Because I thought that I could, like... Because, I mean, it really... lets you just keep going. Like, it just... <laughs> I mean, this this is really... This is a, this is a GPU test. This also uh, is a diagram of what arguments look like on Twitter. I need a dunk on this guy. I don't have anywhere near enough characters to explain my points. How do I really say something devastating in 280 characters? Uh, we can use heat convergence, but what does heat convergence do? Consume your heat to fuel powerful attack. Next time you attack, when you deal fire damage, you deal an additional one fire damage for every turn of heat remaining. Okay, well, I'm... I mean, I guess I will send that one to Carlac. Oh. Alright. Time to carefully micro. Wait, d does shift clicking work? No. Oh. Oh, Very hey, good looking. La la la. Carlac's awesome. I think Carlac is awesome because of how it works looking together ahead. with the rest of the world. I have played games where every character is like Carlock, and it just it it feels odd. The path lies before me. All right, we did it. This Chris is mine. The only one who just let my people slip on grease when there's no threat. Yeah, I can't believe you would do that. It's crazy. What's next? I, I have any slots left? No time to rest. All right. I mean, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go rest. Go to camp. Go to camp. Hello, Scratch. What's up for discussion? Yo. All right, let's do. Let's do. It's, it's creepy time. Look at my weird grin. I'm gonna gently beat up the dog. It's true. It's true. Very rough with my doggy. What's in the What's in the pouch? Diary of Lumpy Enlightenment. I, I forgot about that. And then there's still blood all over Carlax. That is blood, right? With oh haste. my god. Oh my god. Okay, what's what's the quest to cool off? Oh, I can't wait to go to bed. 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 I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to go to bed. End the day. Go to bed. Everyone. Right, we're ending the day. We're ending the day. Yes. Go to bed. You know what? We were interested in uh, getting a good night's rest. So before we ate eight wheels of cheese, <laughs> lie down to sleep. <laughs> oh yeah.
Will! Will! Oh, Will, how embarrassing. I caught you dancing. Oh, he is dancing like no one's looking and someone is, and it is just tough to see. <laughs> I'm just gonna let him keep going. Alright, let's 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 see. Clap! Dance, and he's kicking a little bit. That's good. Nice high knees. Oh, and we go back, present, and I go in a circle again, and then I clap. And then let's do the... Legs go up! Alright, and I go left. Ta-da! Yeah, alright, and I'm gonna go in a circle. Here comes the clap. Woo! Take a breather. No! Go straight into kicking again. That's what I'm talking about. Sean, can you please demonstrate that for us? <laughs> How dare you, Jess. I know you're thinking this third line in your head while asking that. I can tell. I... <laughs> uh, you know what? Nice form. Where'd you learn to dance like that? <laughs> I've attended my share of fancy balls and masquerades. A few elegant moves can turn all the right heads. Figured it was time to brush up on my skills. I wouldn't want to fail my new partner. Trust me, I don't think you could fail anyone if you tried. New partner? And who might that be? I'm ready to flirt. As luck would have it, he just arrived. May I have this done? All right, smile and bow. If Car I don't know how jealousy works in this game, but I'm... <laughs> Be careful, I might crush your hands beneath my hands. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Look at me. I'm <laughs> just looking around. Ash, okay. Uh, Alright, strength, uh, acrobatics, performance. Twirl about with flair and abandon, of course. <laughs> Shit. Oh, fuck. Ooh. 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 Okay, Ooh. okay. Ooh. This is exactly like going to your first homecoming dance in high school. This is this is a nightmare. <laughs> yes! Oh, I'm critically performing. Oh my god, I'm so happy, man. I knew I could do it. Oh yeah. Dude, I hope that I simply float into the air. Oh! Whoa! Oh! oh! Oh my god! Oh my god, look at my Nat 20 dance. Yeah, we both have our little... How utterly charming. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's just hang on this face. Let's not do anything at all. Let's just let Will's face be its face. Oh my god. <laughs> this is it. What a, what a beautiful smile, man. Take a bow smile nervously. Beats all that fancy flitting around you were doing. All right, well, take a bow. Now, perhaps we might try a more intimate style. Oh my God, I don't even get to say yes or no. That's what it's like. You roll a 20 and you're just on for the rest of the night. I wonder if they tried to come up with a form of dancing that would not result in models interpenetrating each other. Turn your head away. Boom! There it is. Oh, this is exactly how I used to do it. Oh, yes. I would flirt until she leaned in and I'd be like, this is very stressful for me. It's I'm going on. home. We can't face the morrow if we don't bid farewell to the now. Thank you. For the dance, I mean. I won't forget it. 
Thank you. Uh, for the rejection, I mean. I won't forget it. Well, I'm just gonna go sleep on my blood. Ah, he's so sad, that's okay. I give him funny hats so he's easier to laugh at, and rejecting his advances don't make me feel very bad. If I go to the character sheet, I just want to know, look at this. The lady was very good. Mm-hmm. And you know what does well? When things are going well? Talking to Damon. See, we, we have basically done the east half of the Shadow Touch lands, man. Last night, Damon talked to Damon. Damon! Damon, 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 please, Damon, please. Tell me you have an answer, Damon. Can there we you. dump Freon into her heart? I was wondering where you'd run off to. Please. Well, two things. Good news and bad news. Uh... Which do you want to hear first, Carlock? The good news, obviously. I only need one more piece of infernal iron to craft an insulating chamber that can make it possible for Carlock to... Touch people! Exactly! Oh my god. It's really happening. It's been so long! So come on! Let's get this show on the road! We need to find that iron! Hang on! I think you'll want to hear the bad news, too. Ah, uh, it'll keep. I have infernal iron to find. Carlac, believe me, this isn't something you should... Let's move. Ah, uh, at least let me show you where to look. I'm not sure the okay. infernal iron will still be there. All right. But I can show you a few places of interest. Ah. Uh... How fares the search? Maybe, but I need infernal iron. Oh, I've seen this. And a prayer that my hammer will survive the... Okay, now we should find out what the bad news is. Oh, let me... how, do I... how do I talk to you, Carlac? How do I talk to you? Hear that? All I need is a second bit of infernal metal, and I'm cured. This is so exciting. Let's make tracks. Hey, you. I don't want to know the bad news. The search. I what the game doesn't It's actually not going to tell me the bad news. I thought we had more infernal iron. Camp. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Was it sold? I mean, I may have sold it, but I, I would not be surprised if it was in the traveler's chest. There's a lot of stuff that I just wasn't sure about. Oh my god. Shit. Okay, I thought I could type it in there, but I guess I can't. Okay. How fast the search? Well. All right. This shouldn't take long. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight is great. Same as last time. You'll need to install it yourself. This should do the trick. We, she, he didn't say the bad news? Why didn't he say the bad news? Who is this guy? There. So did it... work? Only one way to find out.
This is the game. All right. Oh my god, she gets down on a knee to kiss me. Oh my god, she gets on one knee. She goes and kisses me. You were all right. No burns. Uh, but the bad news is you'll be dead Can in five minutes. Now? <laughs> Hold on, Karlak. There's something I need to tell you. That engine of yours... It's contained for the moment, but it's just too hot to exist here in the material plane indefinitely. I know you know that, but the thing is, there's a cure. I wasn't making any headway with the mechanics, none at all. The environment here is just too cold to sustain metals like the ones inside you. Oh. You have to return to Avernus. For good. Or this thing is going to burn you up from the inside out. And sooner than you think. The minute like, I no. set foot back in Avernus, Zarya will force me back into service. I am not doing her bidding again. I'd rather die. I get that, but don't rule it out. The world just might be. Better oh my you. God, Sacriel and Even oh, members of the Forty Second, we're I having a moment. Stop trying to figure out a cure, but at this point, I think we all have to face the inevitable. We'll have to make the inevitable evitable then. God, I'm such a... I'm so foolish. What a goofy thing to say. Uh, I, this is such an unimaginably stupid thing to say I'm going to say it. Oh, she's going to be dead? How about wordplay? Do, are we doing it? You read my mind. Oh. Thanks, Damon. Oh, really? sorry. I'm uh, uh, more than I could ever repay. <laughs> Dude, Sacrael, it's great to see you, man. How are you, dude? Good luck. Both of you. Look after yourself, all right? Uh, oh, huh. Ooh, huh, yeah. No, I think everyone knows that feeling when you're... You get home after a long day and your spouse has an exclamation mark over their head. I, hey. This is the best day. The best day. I'm so happy for you. To clarify, I'm quite horny right now. Me too. Whenever you want to turn in, I'd love to take this whole touch thing for a test drive. All right, let's I let's know we do have it. Important things to do, but we deserve a little sweetness too. God, like I'm worried about what Damon said about your engine. We need to get back to Avernus, or it's gonna blow. Can't wait for tonight. I'm gonna hold you as close as possible. Oh man, I can't wait. And that's why you listen to every mediocre country album if she says she's into it. I figured out who I needed to be. No longer an evil sorcerer gnome. Mm -mm, not a chance. I'm a good guy now. Good guy, we shove some Freon into your heart and you're gonna be just fine. Well, <laughs> it's time to go back to camp and eat eight more blocks of cheese. <laughs> oh man, yep, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna go ahead and turn in for the night, everyone. <laughs> yep, absolutely, I wanna do this. I just long rested. Uh, yeah, you know what I wanna use? Wait, no? Who wants to talk? Uh, in the immortal words of Pugna, oh yes. Hey, soldier. I thought I might come visit you later, when everyone's asleep. Oh. Uh, of course, nothing make me happier. Shall I knock the others out to hurry them up? Of course, you can be. You know, I mean, well, I may not want to cross certain lines physically. I'm not sure Carl thinks has gone far enough. Shall I knock the others out to hurry them up? <laughs> Please. We've waited long enough, I think. Oh, yeah, I'm flirting. See you later. Oh, yeah. I can't wait. All right, oh, quick. <laughs> Run. Scratch, get out of the bed. Get get the fuck away from the bed. 
Scratch! Scratch! Bad dog! Get away from the bed! <laughs> it's such a bad dog! Fuck! Alright, hold on. Let me just eat a couple blocks of cheese here. Yeah, there we go. Let's go ahead and split this item. Uh, I'll go ahead and eat eight blocks of cheese in order to just immediately have a full rest. <laughs> Get out of here. I think the others are asleep. Hi. Hi. Shift awkwardly? Not a chance. I know exactly what I'm doing. I nat 20 this from the moment I was born. I am lactose intolerant, so if I'm a little farty, I hope you'll understand. Hello, darling. Since I met you, all I wanted was to be close to you. We're sure I won't hurt you, right? Well, there's a thing that happens to some humans, which is if they're aroused enough, um, really any other consequences to the decision don't matter. They really, they really don't. In fact, if I lose both thumbs uh, during this, it's fine. I'll give you a high four afterwards. It's not a big deal. Um, uh, let's take things slowly. I can handle myself and you. Absolute confidence. May I test that theory? Oh, go on? What did you have in mind? No, go on. Are you kidding me 100%? Absolutely. It's time to put the foot on the gas. Say it loud. I'm yours, Karlak. Ah, uh -uh, you first. I'm yours, Karlak. My name sounds so good in your mouth. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that's, that's, that's because it's still coated with some of that cheese. I did eat eight blocks of it after all. I'd like to take you to bed now. <laughs> uh, you're uh, looking a little radioactive, if I may be honest. I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> Gods be damned. It's a good day to be alive. <laughs> or that's the kneeling is killing me. I love this. I love that they did this. They just created an animation where she kneels down. <laughs> wow, everybody came. I <laughs> I just said what we were all thinking. It's fine. Oh, uh, it's so funny. Ah. <laughs> oh, God. You have nudity turned off? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I do. <laughs> you can't have that animation. Make it go dark and everyone go, ah, oh, not have me immediately find that objectively hilarious. All right. Last night I dreamt a bird was singing to me, and look, there she is. Uh, uh, fellas, just so you know, this is an immediate way to immediately ruin anything positive that happened the previous night. Um, but I, I trust that this game is senseless enough that it will let this slide. Morning, not so sleepy head. There we go. Oh, <laughs> God, sorry. I was in my own world. Uh, hi. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Sorry I didn't wait around this morning. I was just... just buzzing. Mm -hmm. Didn't want to wake you. I loved being able to touch you last night, hold you, kiss you, all of it. Fellas, this is, this, this is a good thing to say. Don't leave anyone guessing. Just say it. I loved it too. <laughs> More than I've ever loved anything. <laughs> Last night was uh, incredible. <laughs> this morning is incredible. Every moment with you is beyond belief. <laughs> oh, yes. You still like me, right? I much more than like you. I'm much more than like you too. Oh my god, this is like episode 8 and of the 26 uh, episode Korean drama. Nothing bad is going to happen now. Deception. No, nothing bad is ever going to happen to us ever again. Oh my god. Yeah, no. This is... So, for... Okay, so I, I don't know if anyone speaks Korean here in the chat. Um, this is something I've always kind of wondered. So... I watch a lot of Korean dramas, and they're very pure. Like, in an American uh, romantic show, series, whatever, the characters, like, sleep together in episode two, and then, like, get in a fight in episode three, and then start dating other people. It's just very, very raw, you know. But in Korean dramas, they're clearly destined for each other. 
they accidentally kiss right around episode five. And, you know, at the, like, the very last, the very end of the last episode, or excuse me, the second to last episode is typically when they actually get together. And the final episode of the K-drama is where they finish fulfilling their sponsor obligations. And that's how you wind up at Subway. But anyways, let me back up to everything except the last episode. There's this thing that happens close to the end where they're like, I love you, I love you too, all this, all this romantic stuff. But then there's this phrase where they'll say, I like you. And I feel like they're not saying I like you. I feel like they're saying I more than just like you. Like I have a crush on you. Like that phrase. And I'm trying to understand. I, I, I could have easily looked this up. But instead what I always do is I look over at Britt who's watching it with me and I go, I like you. And she goes, I like you. And I'm like, mm. and then we go back and watch Korean drama. And that's all we've ever done there. So here is my question. What, what, what actually is that phrase that's, that's, I like you. Is that, like, I have a crush on you? And it's just being translated in that way? Like, I don't understand. Chohei means to like something, but implies that you have a positive feeling for something for a time, and that it's something you've actually thought about. Oh. Mr. Rawberry, thank you. Yeah, Andreas says, hey, living career for two years here. They do say, I like you. But you never say that to a friend or anyone you are not very interested in. Ah. Yeah, Michelle Ridge says, my favorite translation for business proposal is, I'd like to date your daughter with marriage in mind. Yeah, that's like, that's like a real absolute, absolute laser focus romance. It's so good. I like you. All right. If our is anything to go by, there are plenty of disasters in our future, but we'll face them together. In that case, bring it on. I adore you, you know. I don't give a shit. I'm going in. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I've been dying to say that. Why am I so happy? <laughs> oh my god, that's so cute. Oh my god, if I smile any bigger, my face is going to crack. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, I'm pathetic, besotted, and it's all your fault. Oh my God. I guess we better get the day on. So much to do, <laughs> so much to see. Together. Hey. <laughs> this is fucking why I watch Korean dramas. Oh my God. That, that dialogue was so good. Let me tell you something, Thomasina Bateman, I mean, once she finishes dealing with those sort of eldritch gods that seem to be continuing to torture her. Oh, man, she fucking killed it, man. Absolute Thomasina Bateman, man. When she is not going deep on a barrow, she's hanging out with good old Nutby. It's a very narrow joke for about 20 people in chat. Yeah, Samantha Bayat was a... Um, the, was the lead in the excavation of Hobbs Barrow that I streamed recently. And uh, when I first met Carlac, I kind of had this like, wait, is that? Is that Thomasina? Is that Thomasina Bateman? And it is. Andrew Dog says, I'm one of them. Yeah! <laughs> Dude. Oh my god. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say how to work again. Hey. Uh, better relationship. Oh, you're saying that? How does it feel? Incredible. Like, I'm really alive. Like, we can finally be real. I can be close to you now without fear, without thinking too hard. We can just be. What about what Damon said about your engine was driving the material plane? I don't want to think about that now. I want to think about now. Oh God, she disapproves. <laughs> Shit. I'm so happy. She, she, I brought any reality to the situation tonight. and she didn't like it. I'm never doing it again. Never. I've never been more excited for anything in my entire life. I was there we hoping go. you'd say that. Oh my God. Can't wait to share the news with my dog. That is... Dude. 
Dude. This is this is a good time for a break. This is a good time for a break. This is a good time for a break. It's gonna be very long. I just need to use a restroom. Get some water. But uh I want just one more time before we go. Hey you. So what happens if I say about a relationship? Go on. Oh thank god there's positive options. Oh my god. I was hoping you'd say that. Excellent. All right. On your knees. <laughs> As you hear a sword being drawn in the background. Oh my god. Oh, and we're nuzzling. Oh, we are cute. Oh my god, dude. Oh. Woo. Oh. All right. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> are you happy with how things are between us? If you're happy, I'm happy. Are you happy? Insanely. Deliriously. Deliriously. Couldn't have said it better myself. All right. Hey, Will, good news. I definitely don't want you. Woo! Oh, yeah, wait, there's a trader here? I can sell things to Withers? What? Thou hast now a bosom companion. Take care that thou art not distracted on thy quest. Seeking the comforts of the flesh. Oh, oh, I'm not surprised coming from someone who doesn't have any. Look, I'm just gonna do the right thing and just spend all my time with Carlac. That's what I'm gonna do. All right. Don't be grumpy. I really wanna make Carlac happy. Recall that in time, all becomes dust and bone. Strange Wraith commands many powers. Fate spins along as it should. Show me what Does you got. thou require a new ally? Or may have Oh, resurrection? resurrection? We can resurrect. I don't need to constantly down Revivify scrolls. Believe. Alright, this is it. All right, so I'm actually going to take myself a four-minute break. I'm going to use the restroom. I'm going to uh, water myself. We'll be back with more Baldur's Gate 3.